Hi, my name is Matthew Pinsker. I'm a historian, and here are a few things you need to know to sound smart about the Lincoln-Douglas debates. The Lincoln and Douglas debates of 1858 are famous in American political lore. Abraham Lincoln versus Stephen Douglas, they were enemies, political rivals. But what you might not realize is that the debates themselves started because they very nearly became allies. The story has to do with the crisis over Kansas. Douglas, the senator from Illinois, a Democrat, had become engaged in a bitter feud with the Democratic president, James Buchanan. They were arguing over something called the Lecompton Constitution, which emerged at the end of 1857 as a kind of fraudulent pro-slavery document that would confirm the spread of slavery into the Kansas Territory. And so Douglas and Buchanan began to engage in a very public feud over what to do. Republicans in the East saw an opportunity to convince Stephen Douglas to switch parties to become part of the anti-slavery Northern Party that was now calling itself the Republican Party. Abraham Lincoln and his allies in Illinois, men who had known Douglas for years and despised him in many ways, didn't trust him, they were determined to stop this. So they gathered together and in an unprecedented fashion nominated Abraham Lincoln as their unanimous first choice to be their nominee to compete against Stephen Douglas for US Senate. Then Lincoln went to Douglas and proposed a series of what he called joint discussions. He wanted to have over 50 joint discussions. Douglas agreed to seven, seven joint discussions across different congressional districts around the state. The opening speaker would have an hour, the next speaker would have an hour and a half, and the opening speaker would come back for a final half an hour rebuttal. Three hours of political talk. All they talked about, the focus of their discussions, those 21 hours of debates, was the fate of slavery in America. But in some cases, 10 to 15,000 Illinois farmers and citizens would gather around to try to listen to this debate. At the end of the day, the Republicans won more votes than the Democrats in that election across Illinois. But because of districting issues and holdover seats, Lincoln lost in his bid to replace Douglas. And yet it's clear that in those Lincoln-Douglas debates, Lincoln won something really important. He was the one who had the debates published in the subsequent year. And those debates and the publication and dissemination of his views is what helped make him a stronger national candidate and ultimately the Republican nominee for president in 1860. Young people in large numbers came out and joined what became known as the Red Guards. These largely terroristic organizations were used to publicly humiliate, assault, and in some cases, even murder political enemies of Mao and the Communist Party.